It is important to optimize and consolidate your listings on the second tier listing sites like Hot Frog or Super Pages, etc. In this video, thus, I am going to explain how to use Yext or Moz to find your listings across a range of second tier listing sites so that you can then optimize them. Let's get started. As you get started looking at your local SEO, it's incredibly important to realize that you need to have what's called a consistent NAP, name, address, and phone number for your website. So first of all, look at the big systems, right? Those are Google+, Plus, the Google listing, Yelp, and Yellow Pages. Those are the three big ones. Google and Yelp are really the really big ones, but you want to understand that. And what we're talking about here is if you do a search for something that's local, such as pizza, you'll see here that these are Google listings. So the listings in the middle are being driven by Google reviews and Google listings on the Google Plus network. If you do the same type of searches on Bing, so let's do pizza here on Bing, You'll see here, if you drill in a little bit, you'll see that these listings are coming from Yelp. So Yelp drives the Bing listings. Google has its own system, and you'll often see Yelp show as well. So Google Plus and Yelp are the really big ones, and Yelp or Yellow Pages is probably important, especially in really, to be honest, the red states. I don't know why, but the Yelp is big in New York and Los Angeles and Seattle, and Yellow Pages is bigger in Dallas and Alabama and places like that. So you want to make sure that you've done that. First, claim your Google+, Plus, your Yelp, your Yellow Pages, and optimize those, and I would recommend managing those separately. Next, you want to go to your second tier networks. So uh, as this emerged across the internet, there's a whole lot of these sort of also ran local listings. So there's Super Pages, there's Judy's Books, there's City Search. Uh, there's a whole bunch of them, you know, literally a couple hundred, and none of them has ever really taken off, um, maybe with the exception of Angie's List, which is kind of its own weird animal because it doesn't show up on Google searches. So I would ignore Angie's List entirely for SEO. It doesn't matter. Uh, but what you want to do then is, is, is claim and optimize those second tiers. So I'm going to use the example here of Mecca Coffee Company in Tulsa, Oklahoma, which is my favorite coffee company when I go home uh, to Tulsa. And they're a local business, and they want to show for a search like local coffee companies, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Okay, so if you look at their website, you'll see that they have a consistent name, Mecca Coffee Company. They have a main address. Uh, they're on 41st Street in Tulsa, and then they have a phone number. That's their NAP. And you, I have the links here. You can find them on Google. You can find them on Yelp. You can find them on Yellow Pages. Now, notice that Google is a bit of a mess because you have sort of two issues here. You have a review link, which is where the reviews live, and the kind of local uh, map link there. And then you also have the actual listing on Google+. Plus. And that listing on Google+, Plus, to be honest, is essentially at this point invisible to the consumer. But this is what you would get if you were worked at Mecca Coffee and you were claiming your Google listing. So you want to understand Google has really made a mess of it, but that's the issue with Google. They've got their Yelp listing and they've got their yellow pages. Now you'll notice if you look at their consistency, it's pretty consistent, but on Yelp, it's Mecca Coffee and everywhere else it's Mecca Coffee Company. So they should improve their NAP consistency on the three big networks by changing their Yelp name to Mecca Coffee Company. It's a minor point, but still important. Okay, so if you worked there, you've covered that base. Now you want to go to your second tiers, and you want to look at what your second tier listings are. So I'm going to show you the Yext network and the Moz uh, local system here. Okay, so let's go over to Yext, and then the bottom here, you're going to put in United States. You're going to put in Mecca Coffee, and you can don't have to put the whole name here. You can just put abbreviated portion of it. It's a little bit of a long name because we're just checking it here, and then let's grab their phone number here. Okay, and then let's put them down here and let's hit scan now. So what Yext does is it uh, has relationships with all of the second tier listings, uh, including Google, uh, and it will uh, you can pay it and it will um, 
make a consistent nap across all of the listings. Okay, so notice here, you can go view listing, view listing. So you can take like super pages and you can click view listing. So you enter your information into Yext and then down here where it says view listing, you can click view listing, right? And it's gonna show you the listing on super pages. Now here you have a decision, right? You can either be cheap and do it yourself and you can follow the instructions here to claim and optimize your listing on super pages, or you can be lazy and you can pay Yext $500 a year and then Yext will do it for you. So once they, they have a kind of a, a, a platform, okay? Now, if you use Yext, I'll just give you a heads up. I would recommend opting out of the control of Google and Yelp because those are so important that you really want to manage them yourself. So Google and Yelp, I would opt out of using them if you do use Yext. Um, I've had some bad experiences with that where it um, doesn't quite work the way you want it to. And those are so important. You want to micromanage them. It also does not control the yellow pages. So you want to do it separately for yellow pages if you use the Yext system. And again, you're going to go from yext.com, you're going to put your country, your business name, your phone number, and scan, and it does a wonderful thing. It pulls all the listings, and you can see all your listings, and you can either do it for free by yourself, sweat equity, or you can pay Yext. So that's the Yext system. Now let's look at the Moz system. It's just a competitor, so you go to moz.com slash local, and you type in Mecca Coffee, and then here we're going to need the zip code. So we're going to take the zip code here, 74105, and 74105, and you're going to hit check my business listing. So you put your business name in, your zip code, it's really simple, check my business listing, and then Moz is going to pull it. Now Moz is not quite as user friendly as Yext is, so it requires that you have already claimed your Google listing, and then once you've done that, Click on your name. So you have to have the Google first to use the Moz system. It doesn't work otherwise. And the input on Moz is a little bit um, less user-friendly than on Yext. Okay, once that's come up, then click on Incomplete. And then you'll see here you have a link uh, to update listing. So this is Yellow Pages. This is Bang. This is Factual, whatever that is. This is Hot Frog. So you can click over on the update listing over here on the right, right? So you find a listing like Hot Frog, that's their logo, by the way, and you click on update listing, and that's going to do the same thing that Yex does. It's going to take you into Hot Frog, and then you'd have the same problem. You're going to have um, to claim that listing on Hot Frog. They just break it up where they show inconsistent. Here's, here's, it's pointing to inconsistencies, like in the way uh, that it's it's written. Uh, they have different addresses that they used to have in Tulsa. So this is nice because it's a little bit more diagnostic than Yext is, and it's also will complain about some duplications that occur. So you can either use Moz or Yext. Moz is about $84 a year. Um, it's a more difficult interface to use to do it, but it's cheaper. Yext is $500 a year. It's a really easy um, interface. I'm very much of the opinion that time is money, so I like um, Yext um, as my solution. I'm, I'm sure if you've listened to enough of my videos, you know by now I'm not a big fan of the Moz tools. I find them hard to use, uh, but they're probably the industry standard. So either way, use the Moz tools. They're very good. Use the Yext tools. They're probably a little better. A little bit more expensive and what you're going to do is can um, optimize those second tier listings okay let's quickly wrap up what we've learned and gone over so first we've learned that we need this consistent nap name address phone number across all of our local listings and our website and we've realized that we have two and a half big systems that we need to control and manage for uh, local optimization we need to claim our Google listing and our Yelp listing and probably our Yellow Pages listing as well, Google and Yelp being the big ones. Secondly, we've learned that there are all these second tier networks that Google looks to for consistency. It looks to see if you are listed across the internet with the same phone, address, website, uh, et cetera. 
uh, hot frog super pages etc and we've learned that you can either use yext or moz local for free they will identify your listings and if you pay them they will actually manage the listings uh, directly thank you for watching if you have any questions put them in the youtube questions and our youtube comments and uh, subscribe to our channel